Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles for the Nintendo Wii. This episode, Matthew, can you please get the Audacity thing out of the way so I can actually see the video? Thank you. Alright, everyone, we're going to be doing this ASMR episode of Xenoblade Chronicles because Matthew Zimbabwe, he fucked up royally again, and he basically forgot to record that- STOP IT! Jesus Christ, I fucking hate you. He forgot to record the audio of us originally, so I'm commentating it over again with the ASMR. So, allow a tingly sensation. Oh, I see, oh, I see what you're doing, you're doing the th okay, oh, okay, the okay, 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 okay. Right now, Shulk and Sharla and Ryan all found this mech. And now Shulk can see the future again. Very good. I'm not sure what we were talking about in the original episode because the episode title is called Sega Sheldon and Stories. Not really sure what that means, so, you know. What is that thing? Looks like my uncle's dick when he whipped it out when we went to Chuck E. Cheese a long time ago. Let me tell you all that story. A long time ago, my uncle... You can you can put that as a mic. Mm -hmm. So while you hear the sound, let me tell you the tale of my uncle telling me to play whack-a-mole. But he said do it on his ding-dong. Actually, I'm probably not going to talk about that story. I gotta think of... <laughs> I gotta think of something to say for the next 16 minutes, so I'm going to be reciting, first of all... You shall be reciting. Shut up, okay, I know. I'm going to be reciting the entire B-movie script. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Okay, that is really just dis distracting the fuck out of me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, there, okay. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay. So, today, I'm going to be... Okay, you can get up. Hey, no, have a bag of chips. What do you want? Oh, you want the bag no, of chips? No, no, oh, hold on. Okay, okay, you're yeah. doing it. Yeah. Okay, give me a bag I like potato chips. They taste good. This episode of ASMR Legend of Zoom is brought to you by Wavy Potato Chips. From Aldi's. From Aldi's. I think it's all. I think it's all D. There's an S. Is it all D or all D's? Pretty sure there's an S in there. I'm pretty sure it's all D, I'm not all D's. I appear to have some potato chips stuck in between my teeth, so let me get that out. Here's some more sounds by Matthew because I'm, I'm too, I'm laughing so hard right now so I really can't keep composure. So here's Matthew with some more sounds. Okay, that's enough of that, okay? I'm going to be now reciting another... An old poem made by one of the greatest authors of mankind. Yo, Brian here. Here to have fun. Listen up, everyone. Here to tell you about my favorite movie. It's called Alien, and it's a movie directed by Ridley Scott. That's right. Here to tell you... That it's alright. <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. It's the best movie ever made. And what one time, it helped me get laid. Came out in 1979. It may be old, but that's just fine. The one scene that is the best is when the alien comes out of that guy's chest. My favorite character's name is Ripley. She makes me really want... Wibbly. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, wh- I whipped your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Whip the fucking filter. Whoops. Whip the fucking pot filter. I also like Dallas. He is great. Really wish he wasn't straight. The alien looks really cool. If you don't think so, you're a fool. Uh, hold on. I gotta take a piss. Here's a solo you don't want to miss. Yo, listen up. Don't touch that dial. Gotta tell you about this movie's art style. Done by the late and great H.R. Giger. If you were a girl, I'd want to meet her. I also like this movie's music. It's really good, and it really reflects the atmosphere of the movie, and I really appreciate it. So before I go, let me say, if you don't watch this movie, then you are gay. You should totally watch this kick-ass movie. Yo, it's really groovy. Before I go, let me... Let me say one thing. If you like Alien 3, then you can- Oh no! Sensor rice. Oh no! No, just do it, because that's how it was in the original. Okay. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, sen- I censored it. In the new one. Yeah, in the new- Well, I don't want you to do the, the original. Same I, wa- the original flat. I know, but I just want you to get rid of the old- I want to get rid of the old one. Then. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now, here's another random item I found on my desk. To use for ASMR. <laughs> I hope we don't make a career out of this, because oh, that would suck. Maybe that's Prey. Damn it, are you serious, man? <laughs> Alright. Fuck it. Now you got fucking spray all over my pants, you dick. Congratulations, I smell like a fairy. Oh, good. <laughs> um, Can we stop this? I don't know about this. I fucking hate this, dude. This was a terrible idea. We got like seven more minutes. I know, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Fuck! What am I supposed to talk about for seven minutes? They're all freezing up. Can we just commentate over the episode instead of? So, Fuck. in the new, so when Dragon Ball Super ends, Brian's gonna be very excited. Yeah. Cause he was very. Oh wow, you really remember this tomorrow, didn't you? <laughs> okay, you know. Let me just do it. I'll try not to kiss Matthew because we're so close to the mic. So close. So close. Like microscopic. <laughs> 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 like a microscopic. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were a whole five dollar foot long apart. <laughs> what you just say to me? <laughs> a whole five dollar foot long apart. <laughs> I don't know how to get to my mind. <laughs> What's a good way to measure distance from someone? <laughs> I know I felt like <laughs> Somebody called Jared Fogel. I'm not loving this. <laughs> All right. So back to Dragon Ball Super. Today we're going to be talking about how we believe that the Tournament of Power is going to end. Because... Theory. Free. Zeno's going to win. Because Zeno said, fuck all you. Fuck my rules, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he jumps into the ring. And he's just like, time to throw down, motherfucker. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> match that word. And then Zeno comes in and says, Can we stop the ASMR? Let's just talk about Dragon Ball Super. Because, like, literally, we talk about it all the time during our Let's Plays. But now that we have an entire episode, we can literally just. That was great. All right. We're going we're gonna to tell this to half ASMR, even though you'll clearly see in the actual. I can, like, you can't. But it's really funny just the fact that you'll clearly see everything we'll talk about has nothing related to what's going yeah, on. Yeah, no, 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 no. What happened was Matt lost the audio. No, how was it rendered? I uploaded it. And then what happened was I forgot to check it. Oh, okay. Because I think I did. I think I uh, did the exact same way I did it on the, the episode prior. Okay. So twenty two and twenty three edited the exact same way. So when I uploaded twenty two and that was fine. I just assumed. You got an ASMR a different episode? No, no. Twenty two is fine. Oh, okay, good. Twenty two is fine. Twenty three is what messed up, and it, I was just like, oh hell no, because I learned that literally like I think an hour after I deleted the source files to make room for new ones. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, oh this will be easy, and that's like I was like, oh there we go, the episode's done. I uploaded. It. And immediately, I think, like, as soon as I got to the car to go, like, get my haircut, 
I uh, well, that should be good for the ASMR. Yeah, that would have been good for ASMR. I cracked, couple, I, cracking my... I, cracked couple, I cut my knuckles during. Wait, do that. Do that now. No, I can't. I can't dunk man. Fuck. Like, right. I'm, I can kind of do one. I can't. Hey, go back to Dragon Ball Super. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tournament of Power. Uh, you do realize that this entire arc has been going on for fifty episodes. Honestly. What do you mean, honestly? Uh, honestly it's I'm, been going on for fifty episodes, dude. However, I've enjoyed all the action of it. So it's like, it's like okay, at the tournament arc, I expect a lot of fighting. If the fighting's good, then okay, the problem you're is doing a good tournament. It's been going on for a year, and in the context of the show, it's been 40 minutes. Congratulations, you're going out freeze the time. No, that don't give me that shit, okay? <laughs> I Listen like that joke. Me. I love that joke. That we're Listen to me. Time. Look, I understand if this is the last arc of Dragon Ball Super, so you want to go the longest time. You know what I think they should have done? Had, yeah. had the whole 20 minute, no, twenty episode build up, and then have the tournament just be 10 episodes. That mm. way, you know how the first episode was literally every, it was frantic, just everyone going bonkers? Yeah, it was everyone frantically, like, knocking each other off left and right over and over. That was really cool watching that. So that should have been the entire tournament. And then, like, when Bo and The final down. episodes should have been the whole Universe 11 thing. Or you can just significantly cut down what's going on in the arc. You can get rid of the whole... You know, I think... They should have merged some storylines. Like, you know what I think they should have done? What? They should have had, um... Uh... You know, you know those four episodes dedicated to Kefla and stuff? Just get rid of those. Because, like, mm. literally... I'm not done! Okay. Don't with the... Mm. Well, they say, keep at least, like, two episodes of it. Okay, you know, here's what I think. I think that they should have knocked Kale off first. Because, like, at episode 100. Because that's where, like, literally... She knocks, like, she's literally, um... Blasted by Jiren. She destroys the entire arena. Yeah. And then the entire tournament changes from there. That was cool, though, when she destroyed the arena. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, now, the, yeah. Oh, well, go ahead. I'm trying to interrupt you. But what happened was, I'm really kind of glad they kept Kaolin, because I fucking love the fight between Goku and Kefla. Oh, yeah. I thought that looked so cool. Like, I'm really like, easily just had They could have shortened it down easily, but I'm glad they kept the fight in. You know what I would have loved them to do? What? If they had Kaba and, uh, Khalifa... Khalifa... That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Although, however, you, though, it does work the fact that Kaba didn't, fu- didn't fuse anyone. He kind of fought on his own. I guess, but still. Now, let's be honest here, though. I'm with the I'm with the community on this one. There's Kaba having super, uh, Khalifa having fucking Super Saiyan two so easily is bullshit. No, no, no. I like I, Super Saiyan one. Okay, I get it. It's a child's play thing. There's a bargain sale going on. Makes sense. Whatever. Fuck it. And like the legendary Super Saiyan, I get it. Even that Goku, that one I okay with too. Junior get it. Yeah, even Goku, even Vegeta Junior too. Literally, first see Vegeta Junior. He's like, "Hey, what's up? Pfft, I'm blonde. I'm blonde now." Hi. Like, I, I know he literally says in the show, "I guess we can both go blonde." Hmm, and nice. Then, like, I didn't think we could go both turn blonde. The fucking the, like I'm like when they first said that, I was like we can both go blonde. Like, uh, well, like I get what they were going yeah. with in GT when they were just like they had young Goku and young Vegeta. I was like, yeah, I get that too. It's like the thing like here we go again kind of thing. Like, and hell is called some uh, things never end. Hell is also called the Hero's Legacy too. Yeah, it just yeah. I need to watch that. I've never seen uh, GT Hero Legacy. Don't. Isn't that... No, Don't. No, the ending, no, episode 64 had the super, like, actually really good ending. 64 GT, you mean? Yeah. I Where did Goku's goodbye and then had... That was su- stupid, though. Really? I really I, liked it. I didn't. No, because... Because Shenron's been... like, you want to come with? And I was like, oh, fuck it. And he's like, why would you go with him? No, no. stay with your fucking family. All I know dick. is... Well, apparently it's supposed to be... Th- apparently it's a theory that he's dead at the end of it. Like, that's why, like, his clothes are, like, on the ground, and Vegeta's like, take care of those pan. And then it's like, um... Give him to Goku Jr. <laughs> yeah, give him the... Fuck, I think she does. <laughs> yeah, she does. He's wearing the same rag. It's right? like, oh, thank God you're the same size. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> if you were the same size, and you didn't like Goku, this would have been very awkward. Yeah. Which begs the question, Theory, who was Pan's husband? Oh my God, game theory! <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a film theory. Welcome to ASMR game theory. <laughs> Welcome to ASMR Film Theory. Who was Pan's husband? Fans say Trunks. It was. And how is there Vegeta the Junior? <laughs> Shit, you're right. Maybe dude, she's just. Dude, people, dude, people start shipping Pan and Trunks. I was Jesus just like, Christ, dude, no, that that was creepy. Like, wait, honestly, people did that because um, there's like a big age difference. Huge one. <laughs> huge. Trunks was 14, I think. No, he's uh 13 or 14 when Pan, when Pan's born. At the end of Z, Pan was five, and like Trunks was like 18 years old. Yeah. So in GT, it's like, ew, creepy. Yeah. GT, I think they're what, like, 20 almost? Goten Trunks? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So Pan is like fucking like, 8. Around that age. Yeah. 
too young to be <laughs> with trunks. But, and, um, you know what, though? Japan lost. Uh, <laughs> I would have actually liked if Goten and Trunks were the main in characters the in GT. Oh, they were in, in GT. They were main characters. Trunks, uh, Goten wasn't. Fucking bullshit. What? Okay, okay, dude, dude, you act like someone just murdered your entire family. <laughs> so much. God damn. Wasted potential with Goten. He had the. Fu- he Remember is the son his... of goddamn Goku. So was Gohan. Yeah, and he, no, Goten, Gohan used his potential. And then fucking Dude, became Go- my favorite character. Goten was Goten was destined to fail. No, he was not. He was not destined to fail. He was young Sheldon for some reason. I think we made a joke about that. Oh yeah, oh, young right. Zubin. Young Sheldon. Young, now here comes young Zubin. Right, we did we did joke in the actual video. <laughs> That's what you're knowing now. She's like, let's just make let's make instead of young Sheldon, let's make young Zubin. No, oh, no you, you it, said I, that. You said that. Yeah. You, you mentioned young Zubin, and I mentioned like baby episodes of suits, super dumb. Yes. And it's like, oh, young Sheldon, cause fuck you. <laughs> That's what he said there. And um, oh, that was over. okay. So I got ten seconds to defend Goten. Okay, motherfucker. Oh, never mind. Okay, bye. Goten sucks. Good night, everybody. Damn it, though.